Alright, in this video I just want to do a couple examples of simplifying products of binomials involving trig functions. So, just some binomial expressions. Um, I'm just going to clean them up here a little bit. So in the first one we have cosine x minus 1 times cosine x plus 1. If we uh, were to distribute this out, we would get cosine times cosine, which would be cosine squared x. We would get cosine times positive 1, which would be positive cosine x. Um, then we would get negative 1 times cosine x, x, which would be negative cosine x. And then we would get negative 1 times positive 1, which would be negative 1. Well, we've got a positive, co positive cosine and a negative cosine. Those just cancel out. So we'll be left with cosine squared x minus 1, but recall we've got again this identity cosine squared x plus sine squared x equals 1. So we can always uh, I think sort of manipulate this identity to make it look like this. So notice we could subtract 1 from both sides. That would give us cosine squared x plus sine squared x minus 1 equals 0. And then we could also subtract the sine squared from both sides and get cosine squared x minus 1 equals negative sine squared x. So uh, which one is preferable? I don't know, probably the second one just because there's you know one fewer term. Uh, so uh, that's it. So I would say the first one uh, just simply reduces to negative sine squared x. Maybe let's look at the second one real quick as well. We've got secant x plus tangent x times secant x minus tangent x. I'm going to do the same thing, which is just simply to distribute it out. So we would have secant times secant, which would be secant squared x. We would have secant times negative tangent, which would be negative secant x times tangent x. Um, on the inside, we would have a positive tangent times secant. But since it's multiplication, I can order it however I want. So I'm going to write secant x times tangent x. And then we would have a positive tangent x times a negative tangent x. So that's going to give us a negative tangent squared x. So our negative secant tangent and our positive secant tangent will cancel. We'll have secant squared x minus tangent squared x. Uh, but again, there's an identity relating secant squared and tangent squared. So tangent squared x plus 1 equals secant squared x. So I think if we subtract the tangent squared from both sides, we'll get that 1 equals secant squared x minus tangent squared x. So um, that's what we're left with over here on the left. So secant squared minus tangent squared, just by manipulating that one uh, sort of known identity, we can see that secant squared minus tangent squared is simply going to equal 1.